Where am I? Nowhere. What do you want? Why are you doing this to me? Sir, sure. you don't know. What are you talking about? Tell me, why are you doing this to me? Untie me now. I demand you to untie me now! I don't think so. Is it money that you want? I can give you money. How much do you want? I don't want or need your money. If you don't want money, then what do you want from me? You. I don't understand. You will. Tell me what you want! Tell me your name. What is your name? My name isn't important. What is important is that you answer my questions. So I ask again. What is your name? Robert Wentworth. Okay, Robert. Try to remember what you were doing ten years ago. Why do you want to know that for? Just answer the question. I don't remember. Try. I can't remember. You can't or you won't. Why is it so important I remember ten years ago? I'll ask you again. What were you doing ten years ago? I was sat down and reading the paper in the back garden. Liar! What was that you put behind your trousers? Nothing. I'm telling you, that's what I was doing. Now let me go! Bullshit! Don't you ever lie to me again. Or I'll kill you my bare hands. Do you understand? Yes. <clears throat> Ten years ago, you walked out of a boat. Boss! I have no idea what you're talking about. The jewelry card has been telling true or false. False! You saw an ice cream van. And a ten year old girl crossing the road had just bought her first ice cream. And you killed her. I don't know what you're talking about. You are the wrong man for this! Don't you fucking lie to me! Or well, you'll suffer true agonising pain. I promise you that. Do you understand? Yes. <coughs> Ten years ago, you walked out of a boat. Boss, I have no idea what you're talking about. The jewelry card has been true or false. False. You saw an ice cream van. And a ten-year-old girl crossing the road had just bought her first ice cream. You killed her. I don't know what you're talking about. You are the wrong man for this! Don't you fucking lie to me! Or you'll suffer true agonising pain. I promise you that. <laughs> Do whatever you want to me. But I don't know what you're talking about. And that is the truth! You've had your chance to tell the truth. Last chance. Did you kill my daughter? No! Help! Help! Nobody can hear you scream. This is going to take a lot longer than I anticipated. I should cut your throat. Right here, right now. Did you kill her? Okay! Okay, what? I killed her! I should kill you now. But it was an accident! Accident, he says, while he was pissed behind the wheel of a car. Do you know, I lost everything that day. My daughter is dead because of you. She ain't coming back. Why'd you get her? I want 
to kill you. Then why don't you? Because <sighs> she wouldn't want me to. That's the only reason you're alive. I'm sorry. Sorry. Your words are so meaningless to me. My wife is also dead because of you. What has your wife got to do with me? She couldn't cope with the stress of losing her only child. She suffered with depression and then committed suicide. I don't know what to say, but it wasn't my fault! There's nothing you can say. I found my wife lying dead in a bathtub. She had cut her own wrists. She was dead over two hours. Do you know what it feels like being helpless? Not being able to do anything, anything for the woman you love and cherish? Do you? I'm sorry. If I could take it back, I would, but I can't. I've served my sentence. Sentence? You got seven years for driving under the influence of alcohol and for dangerous driving. You were out in four. What kind of sentence is that? My sentence is life. Every day, I wake up helpless. Helpless for a moment and everything back to normal. And then reality sets in. And I realize both of them are gone. I can't take back what happened that day. No, you can't. I wish I hadn't gone into the car and drove it. But you did. I did. And I have to live with the consequences that day for the rest of my life. No, no, you can't take it back. What more are you going to do to me? What can you do? I don't know. I am truly sorry for your pain and suffering. I need peace. The only peace from this is that you die. I have a family! I have a family! You took that from me in one single moment. I'll never have you have my arms before, ever again. I can never move again. You took that from me. Don't do it! Think of your family! I am thinking of them! If you kill me, the police will come looking for you, and you will go to prison a lot longer than I did. And is that what your wife would have wanted? I have my confession. That's all I wanted. You have my confession. Please, please don't do it. I beg of you. <laughs> my job is done here. I'm finished. <laughs> What are you going to do to me? Nothing. I'll let you go.